There was an article a few days ago in New York Times. It says that Yemen remains the, the, main, the most painful wound in the international, in the human body today. It has been bleeding for three years. Thousands of innocent people have been killed. And what makes it worse, my dear, bro my dear brothers and sisters, is that the complicity of the United States. We are complicit by providing intelligence information to the Saudis, support, weapons, and moral support. We Americans have, to, have been complicit in this war against those innocent people in Yemen. Over 8,000 people have been killed so far. 20 million people have been displaced. Remember last week, 450,000 people were displaced from their homes in Houston. And this country was going crazy. And the entire country came to help. Which about 20 million people losing their homes, their livelihood, their shelter. Basically everything. They lost everything. In addition to that, there's a widespread epidemic now in Yemen. Cholera has been killing thousands of infants and kids in Yemen. Who is responsible for those atrocities? If we do not raise our voice and if we do not talk enough about it, people in this country may not know. They will keep busy watching their sport games. They will keep busy watching Mr. Mayweather fighting the other guy. That's what those people are doing this, in this country. They will keep up with the news of this actor and that actor. What about millions of humans, innocent humans in, in, in Yemen who are being killed? Nobody cares about them, unfortunately. We need to raise public awareness about the tragedy in Yemen, my dear brothers and sisters. It is our responsibility. And finally, the tragedy in Myanmar. 